congratulations on this play. I saw it on Sunday. It it's fantastic. You guys <laughs> captivate. You guys, you know, put so so much intensity into these topics. Uh, <laughs> what is it like to embody characters that are very pol politically charged and deal with topics that are very sensitive? I think, um, for me at least, it's less about the overall like it's, it's less about how people are going to take it and more about finding the humanity in the characters and um coming from like a very specific and uh, personal to the characters perspective and just making it real so they're actually uh, having a conversation that um, can speak to um, the the political climate rather than trying to use the political climate to dictate our character choices. Definitely. And uh, Adam, your character is kind of stuck on the receiving end to a lot of this. Uh, yeah. How, how do you become comfortable uh, being... I guess attacked with a lot of these topics uh on stage in front of so many people. Um I say I with with the character he um uh, like Devin says I guess it's more trying to focus in on the uh, like uh, you know the, the the topics and issues are there but if we really try to focus more on the relationship between the two characters then everything else sort of falls into place by how they would feel about um those topics so he is uh, you know he he likes jules so much jim does that if if he didn't like her as much as he did i'm not sure he would have the patience mm -hmm. uh and would want to stick around and listen to everything she has to say and her views on this but he really does and he really and not only that but he also cares for her and because he's just more of like a, a uh, you know, the, the whole joke is uh, that, you know, they're, they're definitely talking about a lot about how um, she has this like hatred for like, or not, uh, hatred's probably not the right word, but this way for about how all like so many men are just terrible, you know, like kind of crappy people at times. He's like, yeah, but I'm not one of those guys. Like, I'm actually a good guy. <laughs> but, uh, but then like he takes offense to it at times and she's like, well, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the other guy. So well, I also think uh, that it's I don't necessarily think that my character comes from a hating men perspective. I think that she comes from a uh, a very hurt perspective and a apprehensive perspective because of her past and because of uh just the gender politics in general and so that's kind of i think why it, it's it's like well you're not one of those guys because it's a lot of the points she's making is she's she's really vetting him the whole time to see if he is a guy that is going to hurt her emotionally or physically because a lot of guys are like that and they're out there but it doesn't mean as she says in the beginning it's not it doesn't mean that he's one of those guys it means that she's she wants to confirm that he's not before moving forward definitely and i think uh as an audience member there was a lot of this awkward laughter that we, that we had but at the same time there's a lot of silence that you guys sit through uh is it difficult to to just sit with that silence and allow the audience to you know really feel that that suspense i guess is is for lack of a better um we you know we, we we always joke about afterwards usually about the you know like well, once we're done we get in the back and usually Devin and i will kind of um you know break down how we thought the show was and a couple of other things but we always you know oh the audience was like but we learned pretty quick into the show that they like during the run that there's because of the range of people that are going to see this show and this show is viewed like for, especially this show with these topics is viewed in so many different ways by so many different types of people that some people can be like oh haha ha, that's funny other people can be like oh haha ha, but i don't know if i feel comfortable laughing out loud about this or oh that's not funny to me at all that's actually a serious issue that to me as opposed to this so it or really like, that's not funny <laughs> young people are stupid <laughs> yes yeah it's 
it's it's interesting watching like the different generations uh like like if, if we walk out and it's like oh there wasn't really too much too much giggling or laughter we're like yeah it might have been a little bit of an older audience or a much much younger audience who just didn't really hit the main course of that well i would also it, it's also like the different people with different life experiences that yeah. come to us like i had um an older woman come up to me in in a very heartfelt way she was like that was a like a beautiful story about trust mm -hmm. and finding trust and uh finding connection and like humanity's like purpose is to find connection and finding connection through trust and she was like very moved by the story um i can't speak to whether or not she laughed at every joke but she definitely was uh was engaged with the themes because we as actors on stage we're not necessarily always looking at people's expressions and sometimes people chuckle quietly so we only hear kind of sometimes if like a joke hits because there's it's it's it is absolutely uh full it is ripe with comedy in the darkest uh moments as well where it's like should i really laugh so sometimes we don't know how they're taking it and even if they're quiet sometimes it's just because they're just very engaged and listening intently so as actors we don't really know what the audience reaction is until they say uh like we liked it or we hated it because <laughs> it is a very controversial piece so we've gotten a little bit of both not only is it controversial but the city garage space is very intimate it's very close up uh does that intimidate you guys as actors or do you feed off of that and you know just uh, absorb it so you can give that performance because you guys perform great together it's an amazing yeah, space are. yeah I, I love it devin's a lot more for, like devin's been that's devin's been with the company for what two years now yeah just um, yeah and this is my first show with them um and i i love the space like i it's hard to find a theater like that in los angeles where it only houses about 50 to 60 people but it has a a, a, a space like a space that you can really play in really explore a lot of um uh, that's very generous and to be honest uh i i you know see you know like you know seeing an audience it's especially in a show like this which is just you know two people on stage for 90 minutes with no intermission um it, we just once we can just focus in on each other then that's it we we don't really you know we don't like to waste for you know we we don't wait for laughter breaks or anything like that. We just have to keep going. <laughs> that kills it. I mean, yeah. it also, uh, I think a theater space like this really amplifies the experience of this sort of show as well, because it is a very intimate show and it's just two people in a room and they're dealing with each other. And it's, it's a show where you're really peeking in on this apartment with two people they're not it doesn't they're not like talking to different people and there's not different perspective happening it's just two people who just met and they're having this interaction where they're trying to connect and failing horribly and getting mad and connecting and then they're both wrong and then they're both right throughout it and it's it's the perfect place for that because you really can feel like you're part of that interaction because it is such an intimate reaction and such an intimate space where the audience is um 50 seats mm -hmm. and it's just kind of a small a small play in a small room to experience it and it's like we're all in this together yeah and i think that speaks to both the writing because it's such it's such well put out thoughts but for you guys as actors because uh like you said 
two people on stage for 90 minutes talking. There's no breaks uh, for intermission. There's no action yeah. going on to break up the, the dialogue. It's just straight on dialogue and it's captivating dialogue. It's dialogue that the audience feels, the audience is is uh, into. So for both of you, how do you get comfortable with your part or your co uh, co-star to to create that atmosphere to make sure that you know the audience is with you guys that are that is rooting for you guys to succeed in this for me it was a little uh challenging because the character is a very challenging character and she challenges him constantly and it's easy to fall into the pitfalls she has a lot of very bitey words and very punchy lines that it's easy to fall into the pitfalls of oh this girl actually is nuts this girl actually is crazy and she's she's not she's very funny she's definitely playing with him the whole time and she's she's definitely there's definitely this like power struggle is happening but she's not insulting him she's just uh trying she's just very guarded so what's difficult about that character is that very easily she can become unlikable and so yeah, i think that just working together uh and working on that character has made it m like seem like they would actually end up together maybe did that answer mm -hmm. your question and yeah. the question is a little open-ended yeah uh <laughs> how, how, how did you, you talk yeah. um and it was um you, you know with with a show like this with a playwright like this because Devin and i were both familiar with neil abuse work mm -hmm. um and it's uh, but with him like with this like this this show it really it, it was such a fine balance and dance that we have to do because we, it, you can really break it down to like the simplest terms of like okay so they're back of the apartment so um like like there's three options he can get up and leave at any point mm -hmm. she can tell him to leave at any point and he'll and then he has to go or they find a way to stay and evolve their relationship um so finding that like specific level of like um and like she says and it took us a while to really find like the, like the right balance of she has a lot of things that are biting and she's like yeah but she's playing with them and it's like yeah but he probably only wants to be played with to a certain amount because he's a very sensitive person and he's obviously had you know women be not too kind to him in his past so it, it probably wouldn't take too much for him to just be like i i can't do this again i have to get out of here she's being too mean but it's it's a, it's a certain point where she's like yeah but she doesn't she's just playing with them and she always comes back with that no i really want you to stay so it, it's 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 a lot of games that you, oh there's garbanzo um uh <laughs> it's uh it's a delicate dance that took us a while. There was a lot of work that went into this. And uh, we we did a lot of talking about the show and about the characters and about the through line of it and where we think they end up afterwards and all of that. So it was um, and it made it tricky, but we we we, we found it. <laughs> you guys definitely did. It's a very enjoyable show. Once again, congratulations on this. And, you know, Thank you very much for uh, taking the time to talk to me about it for a while. Thank you so much. Thank you. Love to talk. <laughs> Love to chat about it.